welcome back to my channel so schools and colleges have started already and we use a lot of different type of stationeries and if you're someone who just loves stationery or is obsessed with stationery like I am then you are going to love this video because I have created about 10 DIYs for school and college supplies and all of these are really cute and easy to make so keep on watching if you are new to my channel and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then please subscribe and also click that bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Also if you create any of these DIYs then do tag me in your Instagram pictures. This video was very lengthy as I have created a lot of DIYs so I have divided this video in two parts and this is the part 2. Click here to watch part 1. So let's continue. Next DIY is book covers. If you're not good at drawing, then go ahead with a printout and make sure the part you want to stick doesn't get eliminated. Cut it accordingly. While trimming the edges of this one, it kind of went uneven, so I purposely tore the edges a little more. But if you want to create your own book cover, then this is what you can do. I am going to cover this book with yellow scrape paper and I am going to draw on top of it. You can even create minion or spongebob. I'm going to use regular red color pencil and I'm just going to dip it in water so that the color intensifies. These are not watercolor pencil but this is what I do. But make sure that you don't use a lot of water otherwise the paper might tear. Moving on to decorative pens. Here I'm going to use Link Ocean Wave because this one has a clear cap and base so I thought this will be the best as you cannot cover the pen beyond the cap line. You can also use decorative tapes or printouts. I like printout one because you can create a lot of designs on one paper. Make sure you don't cover the cap. So mark the paper according to pen size and trim it. Add clear tape on one side of the paper and make sure 50% of the tape is outside the paper surface so that you can stick it on pen. Roll it very tightly. Here the paper width is 2.5 inches. You can actually use less than that. Just enough to cover the whole pen. Now add a clear tape on top and you are done. Bundle clips are really plain and boring and you can use the same technique as of on pen. Make sure that you use really dense pattern on pen as well as on the clip because these don't have large surface to cover. So dense pattern looks the best. Next station, cute and easy bookmarks. All you need is white card paper and it should be at least thrice the thickness of paper. I'm making a curve on the top.
Now I'm taking another card for ears and legs. This one is for the panda. And I'm going to repeat the same over here. And this one is for the dog. And I'm going to repeat the same over here. Now I'm going to make legs. And going to repeat over here, here and here. I'm going to color all of these four black and all of these four brown. Just a little glue on the end and stick it. Same for the ears. Easy and cute, right? Last one and my favorite is ice cream pen drive. So for this one you will need a large eraser and a pen drive. I don't mind using this one. So trace the end of the pen drive. And start cutting it out. Be very very careful don't hurt yourself. And dig in using any pointy sharp object. Make sure the pen drive fits right. So I made pineapple first but it wasn't looking that nice so I decided to make ice cream instead. So I'll just skip that and I'll show you how I made the ice cream one. I have already made the hollow space for the pen drive. So let's start. First I'm going to create dripping lines. Now I'm going to create a curve on top as a guideline. When you are going to trim the edges, trim it in a V shape like so so now you have something like this now trim the center according to the guideline it doesn't have to be perfect and now start painting. So here the pen drive is the candy stick. Make sure to paint all the four sides. And it works. I really hope you like this video. I have worked really hard on it. So don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Share this video with all the DIY lovers and stationery lovers. And comment down below which one was your favorite. And I'll see you next time. Bye.